with you guys a project share and then i want to do like a little craft with me um we're gonna make some flowers for my project and yeah i was just working on this and i'm like let me jump on live and do this hold on let me get a little drink break sorry so um guys share this video if you can let's get all the night owls here and hopefully you guys can bust out your punches and you can craft with me and we're gonna make some flowers to go with my project got the live chat going okay so this is my project guys look at how beautiful it came out oh my god i'm so proud of it i saw this on silhouette this is a silhouette file and i had to make this i had this envision on how i wanted to make it hey beth and so i'm like let me hurry up and get it done it was so easy to put together it was so fun um i said my sewing machine is down so i wish that i did do stitching on it would look really bomb especially on the inside pieces but that's all right for my first one i want to make another one that's like smaller look at how cute this is guys it is so cute i wish i could show it to you like how it lays it lays like this it's so adorable really cute so i wanted to put flowers in here to go on the back of here and that's what we're gonna do today okay so bust out your flower punches you guys can use whichever ones you have and then i wanted to use um these crystals from urban gems for my centers of my flowers i think i'm gonna mainly use these two colors i might throw in some yellow but I don't know. It might be too overbearing. We'll see. Hey, Cheryl's. And then um, I also have this one from Urban Gems. Don't pay no mind to that bling that's stuck there. Um, and this is the color Aqua Marine. Okay, so if you guys shop with Urban Gems, be sure to use my code Pucci10 to save you an extra 10% off. I also have these from Urban Gems, but I think that they're a little bit too bright and dark for these colors that i'm playing with okay so i'm going to be using garden party which also urban gems has some left in her shop she doesn't have much left so if you are looking for garden party snatch what you can because once it's gone it is gone where's everybody at guys share this video for me i'm so thirsty i'm sorry you hear me gulping all right so let's do this i'm using the stampin up punch here it's a cherry blossom one. And I'm also using this retired Stampin' Up punch that I hauled. And it's got these flowers here. I love this flower right here. All right. So I just took my scraps and I went to town and I just literally cut out a bunch of flowers. And let's put some together. Hey, Natalie. Share this video if you can, guys. We haven't had a night out party in a long time. So I have this little Dollar Tree thing. I think this is from Dollar Tree. Here, let's move this out the way. Sorry, I'm trying to get my shit together. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the ones that I put together so far. Really pretty little flowers. And so I mix um, some prints with some solid, and I think that looks really pretty. So there's two sizes to the cherry blossom with this punch. This makes such a pretty flower, guys. It also has the leaves, but I don't think I want to use the leaves. Here, we could use this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Excuse me. So I just do this like a little circular action and it gives me just a little bit right there which is perfect and i'm just gonna use my hot glue and offset that what is everyone working on what collection are you guys playing with what collection are you plan on planning on playing with we'll do this one actually want to put one of these first 
this color be pretty. Look at how cute that flower is. Look at how pretty that is. Guys, that Stampin' Up! Stampin Up Punch is so cute. And then I guess I could put this one. I feel like that's going to be too much of white going on. I might have to go with it. Here, what's on the back side of this? We could do that one. So I'm liking to mix these colors. It kind of takes away from the other one. Okay, so I gotta use one or the other with these. Hey, Tracy Boo. We're making some flowers, girl. Bust your punches out. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm just gonna layer these. And then we're gonna put some gems in the middle. I don't want them to be too dimensional. I kind of like how that looks. But I'm loving these like soft colors. Really, Cheryl, you know that's Natalie, girl. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay. Do this bright yellow. No, I want to do a solid on the bottom. So just go to town, use your scraps, and you can get a lot of flowers done. I'm loving that tag dye, the big pink one I got from you, girl. I'm making a fruit board out of it. What? I got to see how that looks, girl. You going to share on Instagram? Look at how pretty, guys. Look at how cute. And then I'll put this yellow one in the middle. Look at how pretty that center is. I love it. Me too, girl. I'm so proud of myself. Even though I've been spending, I've been using my stuff, okay? I've been trying to use the stuff that I am buying more now than ever. Instead of just, like, putting it to the side and not playing with it for who knows when. Okay, let's do this one. These two look cute together. So this is a great way to use your scraps and your little blings and whatever centers you can put on these. It's a great way to use your stash. Oh no, this isn't the right one. in the middle of this one this is the one I want to use these glue strings look at how pretty guys I'm not done I try to make something every two days so I've started and I'll be done in a few days nice I want to see Tracy. I can't buy anything. Send me a pic when you're done. All right. This one's so gorgeous. This is my favorite paper from Garden Party, guys. As you can tell. Tracy, look what I made. A 3D 
wheelbarrow and I want to take all these flowers and fill this with flowers. It's going to be so pretty. All right, let me see. Could put this one on that one. Thank you. I've been wanting to do it forever. Beth's cut it out. Cut it out, Bill. Look at how cute, guys. I feel like I need another layer under there. Let's do the striped one. So these pink ones are 110 pound cardstock. So it's hard for me to round them. With these, it is a lot easier. You just kind of like go in a circle. Oh, I already had that blue. I didn't even notice. A wheel. Look at how pretty, guys. Hey, Tara. You on lunch break? What you doing, girl? Look at my 3D wheelbarrow, Tara. Didn't it come out so nice? I want to make another one because I, I have some changes. This is my um my prototype. <laughs> But isn't it badass? I love it. I want to make a smaller one. Okay. So, put this one in the middle. Thank you. I've been working on this all day, guys. I started by cutting some of it this morning. And then Ava didn't want to let me be great. And then her siblings got home and they didn't want me to be great. I feel like this one needs another layer. I want to do a yellow one. Yeah. So what's everybody working on? Or what are you guys planning on working on? Look at how pretty, guys. So you can quickly, as long as you have these punched out, look at how many flowers you can make so quickly. I'm making flowers for my wheelbarrow, Tara. Use a bigger side. Yeah, I can't wait till you post them. They're so pretty. About time, girl. All right, let's do. I have all these right here punched out. I love this paper; it's so gorgeous. Tara, I use this one here as a cherry blossom from Stampin' Up, and then this retired one. I love this one from Stampin' Up. Those are the two punches that I use because I still have stuff packed up. And I do have a lot of my punches out, but not many um, flower ones. That one kind of blends too much. I'll put this one behind it. Get a little pop of color. So just make sure you offset your flowers, guys. Look how pretty. And then you can fluff them up more. You know? I let that dry all the way. All right, let me leave that alone. So I just use my scraps and I punch out a ton of these. I like these two colors together. Should 
Sheesh. That was a lot of hot glue. Okay, let's do, I guess a solid. So with these 110 pound cardstock ones, I just fold them in half like that at the um, petals. And that's all I do with those. Cause they are a little hard to manipulate. That one's cute. So again with these 110 pound car suck. I have a lot of scraps of these because I've been I like to use um this for the base of my 3D projects. So I always have a lot of scraps from that. I'm going to do the yellow in the middle. Where's everyone at? Everybody's sleeping. See, I tried to round this one. Yes, girl. If you're a scrap hoarder like me, you have a lot of scraps around. This one. Hi, sweet drops. Welcome. My baby turned 16 today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to your baby, Tracy. Hello. Welcome, everyone. We're just making flowers out of our scraps using punches. You guys can use your dies for this. Go crazy and just die cut a bunch. But punches are so much easier. Um, let's do this solid pink one. And then we're gonna put some centers in these. What is everyone working on tonight? Terry, you doing any crafting? These glue strings are doing the most. Okay, we got some over here. Let me show you guys how petty I am with my scraps. I will take a scrap like this. 
and I will be so petty and try my best to squeeze whatever I can out of the scrap. Like I need some of the big ones. That's how petty I am. It's serious about these scraps are serious guys. So that's all you have to do is go to town, use those scraps that you know you're not going to use for anything else. And when you don't know what to craft, just put these together. This would be a great craft to have you to do with your kids, actually. I should have had the girls do some of this with me. See, my thing is when I'm crafting, I'm trying to get away from the kids. But I promised Elijah I was going to do a live with him, so. I got to, he keeps telling me, he comes in, he's like, Mommy, remember said you're going to craft with me? And I was like, yeah, not today, baby. <laughs> so I got to get him in here to do some. He's a big boy now, so. I think I could let him use my stuff a little more. All right. Do a few more. And then we can um, go ahead and put some centers to these. Yes, girl, I got to use some scraps. What's this blue? But don't be scared to use your little tiny punches because they make really cute little centers. Really cute. Hey, DB. Who the who? Look at how my wheelbarrow came out. And the cute. This is all paper, guys. It's so fun to make. I want to make a tiny one with little tiny flowers. All right, let's do some of these solid ones. Yes, ma'am, the one and only. All right, I want a yellow on this one. Let me see if I can punch. These glue strings are beasting me. All right, I need some yellow. See, like, look at this. This is a good scrap. But I literally will punch out of these tiny ones. Do the blue in the middle. Mm. 
You guys can do glitter paper. I thought the gold would be too overbearing on these, so I didn't do it. All right, I'm going to do one more, and that's it. Because I'm getting carried away. Rather, yellow be on this side. I'm ruining the paper. And then let's do this pink in the middle. Okay, so we got a nice amount of flowers done. I'm going to save these scraps for later off camera. I'm going to make a bunch more. Um, so let's go ahead and put some centers to these. Once again, we're going to be using these crystals from Urban Gems. They're by Buttons Galore and more. Use my code Pucci10 to get 10% off. I'm going to be using these three colors. And I might use this one, but I think that it's going to be too dark. So, let me pour some in here. Ooh. Okay. And you can also get this collection garden party from Urban Gems. Whatever she has left. Oh, I'm spilling stuff. Thank you, DB. There goes the link for Urban Gems, guys. Whatever she has of Garden Party, you better snatch it because that is all. Okay, so. I'm trying to think if I just want to put one gem or a bunch. Let's start with one. Damn it. Let me get my tweezers. So look at how pretty one looks in there. Hi, Elaine. Hey, Anastasia. It's about time y'all got up. So, guys, I made this 3D wheelbarrow. Look at how cute it came out. And so, we're making some flowers because I want to put a ton of flowers in here. So, we used our scraps. Okay, I want to make a mix of some of these. Hold on. Um, we're going to throw it in. Hmm. Should I just mix them all? Here. Put a little bit in here. You guys can use whatever you want as your centers. I think these are going to be gorgeous in here. So that's why I'm using this. Hey, Anna, I was wondering where you were at. Yes, this is a cut file from Silhouette. It's a Silhouette cut file. Oh, I like the way that looks together. It's pretty. So let me try to sprinkle a bunch of them. That's pretty. I'm gonna try to stick a yellow one in the middle. Oh, 
And I'm going to show you guys the punch that I use for these. This is a really pretty punch from Stampin' Up. It's a cherry blossom. You guys hit up Alicia for your Stampin' Up punches. Look at how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So I use this one here. It's a cherry blossom one. And where'd it go? this one here and i love this one guys it makes the most cutest little center look at the center isn't that adorable so this is a great way to um use your scraps like look at this it's pathetic <laughs> so we spent all this time putting these together layering them i like to mix my solid cardstock with these damn glue strings with the pattern paper. Yes, this is a silhouette uh, cut file. I'm trying to get that yellow piece in there. So you can carefully place those in there. I just want to blob them in there, honestly. Here, I'll do a big pink one in this one. Look how gorgeous. Okay, guys, these are from Buttons Galore More at Urban Gems. All right, using my code, you can get 10% off. Gucci 10. She's got all the most beautiful colors. I could have sworn you sent me a blue tear. I can't remember, but I don't see it anywhere. She has every color of the rainbow. These gems, I've been using them on everything. Put a yellow one in this one. And I like these because there's an uh, arrangement of different sizes. Look at how pretty, guys. Thank you, Mama. So these are going to go into my little wheelbarrow. Look at how pretty, guys. I need to make some bigger ones. But my plan is to fill those up with flowers. I found a, a bag of glue sticks when I was unpacking my stuff. And they must be those damn Joanne ones. I hate those Joanne glue sticks because they have these, um, the webs so bad. Here, I'll do a clear one. These glitter so nicely, guys. Look at how pretty. So we're going to fill this bad boy up. And then I want to make a mini one of these and put tiny little flowers. It's going to be so pretty. And it's like three-dimensional. Look at that. Look at how pretty, guys. Stack them in there. These glue strings. These have to be those damn Joanne glue sticks, man. I hate them. All right. I like that look, how that looks. I really like how it looks like stacked in there. I gotta put some more glue. Like a big old cluster. Look at that. So pretty, guys. Let me get my spoon.
You can also put a sequin mix in there in the middle. You can use your jemmies, whatever you have. They're so pretty, girl. I'm obsessed with these gems, guys. Like, really pile them in there. They look bomb. Look at how pretty. Oh, my God. They're so gorgeous. I'm going crazy, but I don't care. Look at, they look so cute, dimensional, guys. Just throw them bad boys in there. They kind of remind me of those sequin flowers. And just... Arrange them in the middle. These are so bomb. So pretty. Tara. You already know what I'm thinking. And guys, look, I've been using these on so many things. And look, I still got a ton. Look at that mixture, guys. If you're interested in these colors, guys, this light pink one is grapefruit. This white one is coconut. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> and this yellow one is lemon. Those are my three faves. But she has a ton of other colors, guys. Look at how gorgeous this mix is. Oh, Lord, it's cancer season. I could only imagine how you're going to be acting, Tracy Boo. All right, let's do this. Let's get this done. You like the lemon? Which one's your favorite, guys, from all the colors? They look so pretty combined. I really like the stacked look. And it's okay if some are upside down, they still glitz and glamour. Like, look at that. Right, girl. And cancers ain't no joke. My baby Lexi's a cancer. A little sneaky ass. Lexi's the one that's always dancing. She loves to party. She loves to dance and all that stuff. Laugh. Yeah, they're all really pretty. So, guys, these are just the colors that I have. Make sure you check out Urban Gems because she has every color. When she sent these to me, she didn't have some of the colors in. So, she has some really pretty greens, some beautiful blues. What other colors, Tara? Make sure you shake these really good. Oh, my God. Look how pretty they look piled, guys. Look at that one. But ain't nothing sneaky about me. I just care I'm going to do it. I just care I'm going to do it. What? The hell are you talking about, Tracy? So we're just going to pile these in here. I need to do some bigger flowers. I would have filled this up so much faster. But look at the wheelbarrow full of flowers. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? So pretty. Can't 
Cancer women are great. The men <laughs> hit or miss. <laughs> Coconut is so pretty. Anastasia, you might be delayed. Guys, ask Anastasia to fast forward. She's delayed, I think. Ooh, I'm dropping jimmies everywhere. They look so pretty, like, stacked in the middle. Can't stop seeing it. We got a few more to go, and then I'm going to get out of here, guys. I was crafting, and I just wanted to jump on while I was doing this project. I thought it would be a great opportunity to craft with two more. Two more. And then I'm out. Guys, this would be such a great project for Happy Meal. Like, imagine, I would love to receive something like this. Packaged up real pretty with some, like, you know, that see-through crap. Tie a pretty bow on it. I'm not done with my wheelbarrow. I do want to make a bow, a couple bows or something to put on. But how gorgeous are these flowers? I got to stick a yellow one in the middle. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get this damn wheelbarrow for me. I got to throw a yellow one on there. These are the crystals. These are the crystals. I'm going to show you guys the difference. She has crystals. These are the crystals, okay? These are the ones that I'm using right here. And then she has the jewels, okay? So the jewels, I feel like these are more translucent and these are a little bit more opaque. But this is the difference between the two. Okay? So these are more trans translucent. You can see through these. And then these are a little bit more um, like opaque. But they still have that glitz. Girl, you can't go wrong with your, whichever one you grab. You cannot go wrong with any of these. Okay, one more. Guys, I've been wanting to do this wheelbarrow forever. I'm like, let me hurry up and get this done. And today was the day. All right. Let me make sure they all got some glue. Let me move these out the way. So I'm going to finish the rest of those flowers off camera. But like I said, I wanted to... The wheelbarrow, I can't really say because it took me forever to like cut the pieces because, you know, the kids and the schedule and stuff like that. But once I sat down, it didn't take that long to put together. So with the wheelbarrow, you got to cut a ton of pieces of like certain like these. And you stack like six or seven of them. To get that thickness. Guys, it's so sturdy. Look at how pretty these flowers look in here. I have to put some bigger ones. I'm going to fill this up with flowers. How gorgeous is that? And then I put some brads here. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do like this pattern paper here. Or if I should leave it. Or if I should put gold. I think gold might be too overbearing because of the wheel. Gold would look cute if I did the wheel this pattern i think so that's it for this project guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this little craft with me um let me know what you think in the comments below and no girl it is all cardstock look at it's these right here these are the pieces look at how thin and then you just stack up all the pieces and it is so sturdy guys like i could pop my husband in the head with this <laughs> and then this wheel it was pretty easy to put together. There is a stick inside of here, but it's all paper and the stick kind of like, you know, reinforces it. But guys, how pretty is this going to be full of flowers? I have to punch some bigger ones because it's going to take forever. But look at how gorgeous they are. They're so pretty. And you can use them to decorate or whatever. It's so cute. All right. So that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Hootie hoo. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.